Hi kids! Isang matatag na araw. I'm Sir Noy and welcome to Mat Bilang. In this video, you will learn how to represent the similar fractions with denominators up to 10 using models. But first, let's have a review. What are the similar fractions? The similar fractions are fractions that have different denominators. The numerators can be the same or different, but the denominators must be different for fractions to be considered dissimilar. For example, 2 fifths and 3 fourths. These are dissimilar fractions because they have different denominators. 7 ninths and 4 sevenths. These are dissimilar fractions because they have different denominators. Before representing the following fractions, let's name the following given fractions. Three fourths. Four ninths. Four tenths. One half. Five tenths. Four eighths. Now, let's represent the similar fractions. Fractions can be represented by grid, pie chart, and bars. Let's have situation number one. In a birthday party, two cakes are sliced differently. One cake is sliced into five equal parts, and Anna ate two fifths of the cake. The other cake is sliced into eight equal parts, and Ben ate three eighths of the second cake. All we have to do is to draw and shade models to represent how much of each cake Anna and Ben ate, and who ate more cake. Using pie chart, we can represent two fifths as this, and three eighths. As you can see, two fifths is larger than three eighths. Situation number two. A group of friends is painting sections of a fence. Jack painted five-sevenths of the fence, dividing it into seven parts. While Jill painted four-fifths of another fence, dividing it into five parts. Now, let's draw models to represent the portions painted by Jack and Jill. Compare their work. This is the fraction painted by Jack. And this is the fraction painted by Jill. As you can see, 4 fifths is larger than 5 sevenths. Situation number 3. A recipe calls for 2 six cup of flour and 3 tenths cup of sugar. Represent these fractions using rectangle models. Compare the amounts visually. Which is more, the flour or the sugar? This is 2 sixths. And this is 3 tenths. Which is more? Very good! It's 2 six, a cup of flour. Situation number 4. Two friends ordered pizza from different shops. Pizza A is divided into 5 slices and 3 fifths is eaten. Pizza B is divided into 8 slices and 5 eighths is eaten. Let's represent the eaten portions of both pizzas using circle models. This is 3 fifths, and this is 5 tenths, 
and 3 fifths is larger than 5 tenths. Situation number 5. A farmer uses part of his garden for planting vegetables. Two-fourths of the garden is planted with carrots and three-sixths is planted with tomatoes. Draw models to represent the fractions of the garden used for carrots and tomatoes. This is two-fourths and this is three-sixths. As you noticed, both fractions are equal. Activity time! Activity number one. Name the fraction being represented. Let's answer. 1, 1 half. 2 is 4 sixths. 3 is 5 tenths. 4 is 4 sevenths. 5 is 1 sixth. 6 is 5 eighths. 7, 8 is 3 fourths. 9 is 5 sixths. And 10 is 4 eighths. Activity number 2. Match the fractions. Let's answer. 1 is letter B. 2 is letter C. And 3 is letter A. Activity number 3. Let's represent the following dissimilar fractions. Let's answer. This is how you represent the following dissimilar fractions. Always remember, when representing dissimilar fractions with denominators up to 10 using models, it is essential to divide the models into equal parts based on the denominator, as it represents the total number of parts in a whole. 
ensure that each part is of equal size to maintain accuracy. Next, shade or highlight the number of parts indicated by the numerator, which represents the fraction of the whole being considered. For the similar fractions, use separate models for each fraction and clearly label them to avoid confusion. This method visually demonstrates the size and the relationship of each fraction, making comparisons easier. Thank you so much for watching! Please subscribe to my channel and like my Facebook page! Happy learning!